Today I'm going to go over how to quickly set up your environment to uh, have a chart open and have it linked to a market analyzer template uh, to allow you to scan for patterns and, uh, and get that set up. Uh, so first just open up a chart uh, and you want to set up this chart with um, a, couple, a couple indicators here. I'm going to go to right click and go to indicators, go to the up down folder, I'm going to add the toolbar and in this uh, particular video I'm going to uh, add the, uh, the auto uh, pattern finder here. And I can just leave all of these as, as default for now. Um, actually, I want to change the quick buttons to be a 5 minute, 30 minute, and a 240 minute. Uh, so I'm going, to, I'm going to do that. So once, I, once I've added that, uh, I'm going to disable that for now. Um, I can, to make this easier, I'm going to right click and, and save save a template uh, for this or you can simply save it as default uh, in this case I'll just save it as default so I'll save it as default so next time I open a window it'll automatically be set up the way I want it'll all automatically have the indicators that I want applied to it etc uh, all right from here just come to your your control panel here open up a new market analyzer window let me try to get all this to to fit on the screen here uh, I'll just move this down here Give me a moment. Okay. All right. So now from here, I'm going to right click on my market analyzer window, go to templates, go to load, and then under the, the swing toolkit folder, which should automatically have been uh, installed on your, uh, whenever you imported the, the zip file itself. Uh, there are some auto, there's some some templates already set up for you here. As you can see, uh, 15 minute, 240, which is the you know four uh, four hour chart, 35, 60 daily, weekly, uh, and there's also this this uh, top one. So the, these, as I see, you can see, it says full. This includes pretty much all of the output of the the scanner, um, which is really more than you need, but it's just to kind of demonstrate. Uh, all of the, the the options that you have have for you. Um, I'll pull I'll pull one of these uh, up real quick. I'll just open the, the 30 minute here. Um, and so it it automatically loaded it, but there's no actual instruments on this list here. So I can just type in um, you know the euro USD. I'll throw that on here here. Give it a moment to load. Okay, so now. This this is the 30 minute. You can see uh, it's highlighted by the uh, the headers here. Uh, now, if you want to, as I mentioned, this has all of the outputs that you would um, that that it has. But if you want to simplify it and also to increase performance of, of NinjaTrader, I can right click, go to columns, and I can come here and I can, for example, you know, if you want to just simplify this, you can remove the risk reward and the targets and the stop and you know, so you don't use the RSI, you can remove that and just kind of keep it, you know, maybe simple to just uh, three, uh, three columns there. Uh, so it's much easier on your, as far as resources go in NinjaTrader to have just only those, those three. Um, so let me go back to, uh, I'm going to load a, a different template this time. I'm going to go to uh, the, the Swing Toolkit. Now this one here, as you can see, it says 5:30-240 daily. So that is actually loading multiple time frames all in one uh, in in one uh, uh, listing here. The as I demonstrated earlier, there's more information that could be uh, selected as a column, but uh, for for the most part, these are the ones that I like the best. I like to see. You know, the, the, if it's a if there is a, a pattern that's found, you know the the current status of that pattern and how long ago did we actually touch the uh, the edge of our uh, support or resistance area? Uh, in this case, it, it looks like it just happened uh, over here. It looks like it's been it's been a little while. Uh, it will also output uh, if it's hit hit one of the targets or et cetera. It'll kind of give you a status of of where it is on that. Uh, and in, in that pattern. Uh, now, let me go ahead and turn this on. Now you can see here, I'm up here. I'm looking at the 
uh, I, just, I just turned on the automatic pattern finder here, which that's what th these are uh, outputting here. The, my top chart here, it says, I'm looking at a 30 minute chart. So I'm looking at just my columns here that say 30 minutes, which is just these three. So you have to kind of look at these as grouped. These three columns are, the, are based on the five minute chart. These three are based on the 30 minute chart. These three are four hour and these are the daily. So in this case, you can see that there's this pattern that was found. It has a T bar, meaning it just touched this. And so it um, is, is a zero here, meaning that it, is, it just happened. Um, now, one thing I forgot to mention is that you want to be able to connect, you want to be able to link your chart with your market analyzer template. So here you see the instrument link right here, I can go down, select whatever color you want, uh, you can change that to say say aqua, and just make sure that this is the same color, aqua. So now, um, if if I click on one of the uh, on one of these rows, it will automatically load that instrument on this chart. Now I'm going to go ahead and load some additional instruments on this on this list here, uh, just just so I have some more uh, something else to look at. So one of the things that you can do within NinjaTrader is you can create these instrument lists, which is very, very handy. So I've created a couple here. For example, I just have this default. I have this listing here. I can just hit select all and it will, if I give it a moment, load that list into my uh, market analyzer. Now, if we give it a moment, it, is, it has to, it's a lot of data. It has to crunch and download and populate. So it, it does take a moment. Now that that's all uh, downloaded and, and, and listed out here, uh, another thing you can do is if you if you say you created this list uh, by hand, you can right click anywhere, go to create instrument list, and then you can you can give it a name. So it'll show up in the, in the future uh, to automatically just uh, as I as demonstrated earlier, it will show up in, in in this list here. Okay. As a side note, something that I like to do with the toolbar itself is I like to come in here, go to the toolbar, and I like to change the opacity here to be kind of semi-transparent. Uh, and then I'm going to clear out these labels, these labels here. And I go, go through all my indicators that are on my on this particular chart. And I'm going to uh, clear out the labels so they don't show up on the chart itself. So now, so now the, the toolbar itself is kind of semi-transparent. Uh, the labels aren't showing up. And so now if, if, if data or something goes above uh, into my toolbar, it, you can still see it back there. Uh, now, as I showed, this has, this is, this is outputting information for multiple time frames here, but my chart only has, is only showing the 30 and there's no way to, to link the interval itself, only the instrument itself. So what you can do is just add, um, uh, additional charts. So what I can do here is different ways you can do that. I'm going to right click. I'm going to duplicate into a new window. All right. So now I just I just duplicated that window. I'm going to uh, try to make make those make those fit here. Give me one moment. Okay. Now that I've um, arranged this a little bit better, um, you can see now I have two charts here, and they're and they're all linked with this this, this aqua here here and here. So what I want to do is I want to set one of them to say five minute and then another one to 30 minutes. So then when I click on one of these rows, it will automatically load those two uh, time frames for that one instrument. Uh, in this case, you can see the Aussie dollar here. There's a potential pattern. It means the price has not quite reached the, uh, the, the area yet. And this one over here, uh, we just had a, uh, it just touched it right there. And that's why it says zero there. Now, uh, on this video, I don't have a whole lot of real estate to create multiple charts, but you can see how you could uh, link, say, four different charts. You could have a five minute, 30 minute, uh, 240 daily, whatever. And then you would just click on a row and it would um, automatically load that particular instrument. Now, one thing, if you remember what I did in the beginning, is I set up my quick interval buttons here to kind of mimic what I have down here. For example, the five minute, 30 minute, 240 daily. 
uh, and so you can go in to the to the toolbar itself and set those up here. I, I could add a you know one day as well. Now uh, I don't have a whole lot of real estate here on this video, but you can see that the there's the daily right there. Now I I don't recommend um, having too many uh, indicator. Uh, sorry, uh, in, uh, instruments in this list here because the more you have one, it it becomes um, a little difficult to trade because I re always recommend really knowing your instrument and your markets inside and out. Uh, know their personalities, know what news events affect certain, um, whether it be a, a market or, or a currency, uh, versus having an extremely long list and simply chasing setups here and there and not really having a good feel for uh, what's going on with that particular uh, market. Um, so I recommend keeping this list relatively short. Uh, I mean, even down to like just a couple instruments, really, uh, and, and just know them inside and out. Uh, plus, it's a matter of the amount of resources that's required on NinjaTrader and your computer to to have all of this this running here. Um, now, as always, you can you can, as I mentioned before, you can right click, go into columns. And say, for example, you want to simplify this out, output here and you want to remove the daily. You know, you just wanted to have three time frames. That's all you wanted to focus on. You could just simply remove these three columns uh, or any other three, for example. Um, all right. Well, I hope that helped uh, get you set up with your with your scanner. I'll try to create other videos to how to set up uh, other indicator scanners and whatnot. But this is this is of course one of the one of the more popular ones. So I wanted to make sure I I focused on this one. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact me at Daniel at updown.com. That's Daniel at uppdnn.com. And uh, best success in your trading.